Carlos Alcaraz versus Daniel Medvedev. Second semifinal for the men's Wimbledon for 2023. Both guys have had different roads to get to the semifinals. Medvedev started the tournament as the number three seed and would take on the wildcard Ferry in the first round. But this was no problem for Medi, getting through in straights. 7 5 6 4 6 3. In the second round, he'd take on Manorino, a man who'd beaten him a couple of weeks before on the grass. But Medvedev got his revenge, getting through in straights. 6 3 6 3 7 6. In the third round, he'd take on Fuchovic. And after dropping the first set, Medvedev would fight back to win. 4 6 6 3 6 6 4 6 4 to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he'd take on Lehechka, who had taken out Sarundalo and Paul along the way. But unfortunately, Lehechka came in with an injury. And Medvedev would get the first two sets, but then Lehechka would retire. 6 4 6 2, retirement. Quarterfinals, Medvedev would take on the unseated Eubanks, who had just knocked out City Pass in the previous round. And this was an epic, with Medvedev having to fight back from two sets of one down, eventually getting through in five, six, four, one, six, four, six, seven, six, six, one, to advance to his first Wimbledon semi-final. Alcaraz started the tournament off as the number one seed and would take on Shardy in the first round. There's no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights, six love, six, two, seven, five. In the second round, he'd take on Muller. And again, no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights, six, four, seven, six, six, three. In the third round, he'd take on the 25th seed, Jarry, who had been having such a good year on the clay and learning to play on the grass. And after a couple of close sets, Alcaraz would eventually prevail in four, six, three, six, seven, six, three, seven, five. In the fourth round, he'd take on Berrettini, the former Wimbledon finalist who had just taken out Diminor and Zverev along the way. And after dropping the first set, Alcaraz would fight back to win, three, six, six, three, six, three, six, three, to advance to another Grand Slam quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number six seed, Runa, who he'd been longtime friends with over his short career. And after a close first set, Alcaraz would get through in three, seven, six, six, four, six, four, to advance to another Grand Slam semi-final. These two have played only twice before with the head dead split down the middle at one apiece. But interestingly enough, they actually played at Wimbledon a couple of years ago with Medvedev getting the straight sets win, but a lot has changed in the last two years. And Alcaraz is a much better player than he was back then. If Medvedev is going to win this one, he needs to serve well. We've seen that when Alcaraz plays against big servers, such as Jarry or Berrettini, that he can be put under pressure. Rudin, unfortunately, didn't have that big serve to push Alcaraz, but Medvedev does. So he has to serve well and make sure he wins a lot of those service games and really pushes Alcaraz around. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to bring the variety. He did so well at Indian Wells in the final there, beating Medvedev up with that variety, coming to the net, serving big as well. I think the serve and the volley tactic is going to be a real big one as well for Alcaraz to beat Medvedev. Such a great rematch here. We've got a top three clash, one versus three in the rankings, but I reckon that Medvedev is going to get this one. I think he served is a little too big, and I also think that his ground strokes are a little bit too big as well on that flat shot, especially on the grass court. It's a little bit less time for Alcaraz to hit the ball. I think Medvedev's going to win this one in five. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final of the Wimbledon.